Hi guys, welcome back to Social Studies. I'm excited to reveal to you guys what uh, was the winner. Last time we had Social Studies, you guys got to vote and you decided what was the cause that you felt you wanted our classes to focus on and to help um, be a part of and, and help make better. Um, and so you guys chose between four different causes and there were some close second ones. I know in my class, a close, close second was Black Lives Matter. A lot of people were, were interested in that and I hope that you guys still do something for those other causes that you are very um, passionate about. I know I am going to do things too, but as a whole class, and both my class and Miss Smith's class, the number one cause that people were most passionate about and got the most votes was bullying. So as a whole second grade, we are going to focus on bullying and how can we, as second graders at All Saints Academy, what can we do to help stop bullying, okay? So today, we are going to focus on what is bullying, um, what does it look like, and what we can do to stop it, okay? And then we're going to be doing some more things to help with the whole building and how we can, again, stop bullying, all right? So I have a quick little video for you guys to watch about bullying. I'll let you guys watch it. Okay. Have you ever been bullied? Bullying is mean behavior. That happens over and over again. Bullying's not nice to do to people. Bullying is done on purpose. A person who bullies wants to hurt the other person. Bullying is unfair. The person who does the bullying usually has more power. They might be older or bigger, smarter, or stronger than the person who is getting bullied. Sometimes a group of children get to bully another child. There are lots of different kinds of bullying. Physical bullying, verbal bullying, social bullying. Physical bullying is basically when someone hurts or body. There are some kinds of physical bullying. Breaking someone's things. Taking something that isn't yours from someone. Kicking, pushing, or punching, or twerping someone. Sitting or spitting on someone. Killing or ruining someone's property. Verbal bullying is when someone hurts your feelings. Here are some kinds of verbal bullying. Saying something mean to someone just to hurt them. Writing something mean about someone. Teasing someone. Social bullying is when someone gets other kids to be mean to you. There are some kinds of social bullying. Telling lies about someone. Getting up on someone just to hurt their feelings. Playing mean pranks on somebody. Maybe bullies were sad because they were bullied too. Are you a bully sometimes? It's better to be nice to everybody. Can the world be a nice place? Maybe we can help. Let's all help each other. Everyone's friendly. Nobody, eh, nobody eh, would be eh, hurt or be teased or anything. It would, it would be fine. Okay, guys. So in that video you guys saw um, these kids talking about bullying, what it is, what it looks like. Um, and I just want to re-talk about some of the things that they brought up because they, man, they have brought up some really good points about bullying. And the first thing I want you guys to know is what is bullying? Um, and bullying is when um, someone does something mean, so there's mean behavior that happens over and over. It's not a one-time thing because Sometimes we make mistakes and we say something mean, and it might be just one time. That's not bullying. That's just a mean moment, right? People have a moment where they're, where they're mean, and they, they can apologize and be better. But if it happens over and over again, that's bullying. It means it's happening again and again, right? And that's why I have these arrows to show bullying is mean behavior that happens over and over, okay? It's not a one-time thing. It happens a lot. 
So it's important to know what, what is bullying, to know what am I looking for? What can I do? I first need to know what it is and how to know if it is bullying or not. So if you see something happening over and over again, that should be a light in your head. Up, oh, bullying is happening, okay? And as they said, there's types of bullying, right? There's not just one way you can bully. There's many ways that people can bully. There's physical bullying. That means actually hurting somebody or putting their hands on this other person, okay? That's physical bullying. Verbal, verbal bullying. That means you're using your words, your voice, to be mean to somebody. It could be calling somebody names. It could be spreading a lie. It can be teasing somebody. Anything that comes out of your mouth that's mean, that's verbal bullying. You're using your mouth. Social bullying. They talked about social bullying. That's when you get a group of people to be mean to someone else. You're like, hey, let's, let's be mean to this person. Or as a group, you go and you're, you say mean things about them. You could, you could tell lies and tease them, pray, play pranks on them, right? As a group, you are bullying one person. That's social bullying. Um, and I even have this one that shows, again, the different types. There's even cyberbullying, where you type something mean on the internet, or you say something mean on the internet. That's a big one right now, because there's lots of, you can comment on people's videos, and their different things that they have, their pictures. And so people are being bullies on the internet. So now that we know what bullying is and what it looks like, now we can talk about what can we do? Because again, we are second graders at All Saints Academy, and there are things that we as a class and as a second grade group that we can do if we see it happening. So how can we help? Well, one way to help is to get a group of people. It helps when there's not just one person, it helps when there's multiple people coming together. Remember um, Dolores Huerta and um, and Cesar Chavez, how they get they came together as a group to make a make a change. Well, you guys can do that too. Get your friends and say, "Hey guys, bullying's happening. Let's go over there." And you can say something and stand up to the bully. You can say, "Hey, that's mean. We don't do that here." Hey. That's hurtful. Don't say that. You know what I mean? So stop, say something and do it in a group. That's going to help if you do it in a group. What else can you do? Go to an adult. Tell them. Tell them what's happening. They can help you. If, if it seems like they're not caring and they're not doing anything about it, go to a different adult. Keep going until you find an adult who is going to care and going to do something and help you. Because bullying needs to stop. So you are gonna you might need help, especially if it's a physical bully, someone who's hurting someone with their hands. We definitely have to tell an adult. Um, what else can you do? You can be kind to the person who's being bullied. Include them. You're going to see this a lot at recess. If you find someone and you see that person has no one to play with, guess what? They're probably someone who gets bullied. Bull people who get bullied are people a lot of times who don't have very many friends. So look, find people who don't have someone to play with and invite them. Say, hey, come play with us. That can stop bullying by asking someone to play with you and be a part of the group. So be kind to those people who are by themselves. Include them. And then last but not least, you can also try to be friends with the bully and teach them how better ways to treat people. So you can be friends with them and say, hey, you don't have to be mean to this person. You can just be kind or why don't you just ignore them? So you can be friends with the bully too, but most important is the person who's being bullied. So making sure to take care of them. So here are, there's are four things that you can do to make sure bullying does not happen in your school, in our classrooms, in our recess time, in our school. So what I want you to do is, I want you to show me that you know what to do when there's a bully. So you're gonna make a video and you're going to talk about some ways that you can stop bullying if you see it, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on us and what can we do if we see bullying. You're going to make a video. I will also let you do the notepad if you really want to write it out. Just make sure you tell me 
some ways that you can stop a bully, okay? Can't wait to see your answers, and then we'll keep working on this um, next time I see you guys.